Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about weeks 18 to 24. Currently on, uh, wow, two days, I will be turning 25 weeks. So I am quickly approaching third trimester. So I figured I would kind of update you guys with what's happened over the past few months. And yeah. So let's just get right into it. All right, so weeks 18 to 24, a lot of things have happened. There have been a lot of awesome new things and changes. And so I am excited to film this update because there are so many things that have happened that are noteworthy and really, really, really exciting. Um, a lot of you on pre other videos, um, like what I found out, a lot of questions come, sorry, <laughs> Arya's literally, I have a little balcony right there and Arya's like, what are you doing, mom? She's totally gonna come down here. So a lot of you guys have been wondering what app I've been using and like what I used to track. I could do a whole video relating more so to trying to conceive or TTC as the people say on here. I can totally do that and talk about what I did and any tips and tricks that I have. I am, would love to share so I might do in my next video just talk to you guys about the things that I personally did to conceive our little baby gear. Going back at weeks 18 through 20, I'll kind of lump into a chunk. So that was right before Halloween. I actually, I don't know if I said this before, are yet do not. Oh, she just wants to get that. When I turned about 16, between week 16 and 17, I felt her for the first time. And I remember the moment clearly. I was sitting in bed, kind of relaxing, watching something, probably things on Halloween. I remember I was laying there and I just immediately felt like a, like, like what I would assume as a kick or something like that. I was like, it kind of made me stop for a second like wait hold on is this her and so then it like did it again and i was like oh my gosh my, i literally couldn't breathe i started crying because i was like oh my gosh i seriously think it's happening and then she did it again and i was like dude that's definitely the baby like once if you've never had a child before and this is your first child and you're waiting to feel what it feels like to um feel the baby move it is i think you'll know. <laughs> I think you'll know because it doesn't feel like a normal thing that you are used to feeling. It's something that just completely takes your breath away, like in a good way, like, wait, oh my gosh. I remember Ryan was out. We were actually at this time trying to find a uh, new paint for our nursery and I called him and he was actually getting, uh, asking my mom, uh, Aria, stop it. Come here. Sorry guys. I was asking, uh, he was asking her for like advice on some like paint colors. And I was, I told them both, I was like, oh my gosh, I felt her, I know I did. And so that was so, so surreal. And obviously since then, um, I've been feeling them much stronger. I've been feeling them much more frequently. And so that was probably the biggest thing, although that technically is 16 weeks. Did I say that in my last video? I don't even know. It's 18 to 19, nothing really substantial or nothing really noteworthy. Just kind of just chugging along. And then week 20. So week 20 was the first week of November and I uh, got my anatomy scan. So that's the biggest one. One of the biggest ones it basically measures literally everything with the baby, baby's heart spine, head, brain, um, you know, the like blood flow. <laughs> uh, this is when you typically will know if you're having a boy or a girl, if you don't do something earlier. And so we confirmed it was definitely a girl. Everything as far as measurements and anything that they were looking for, everything was right on um, exactly what it was supposed to be. And I was just like, thank you God, because it's just, you know, I swear, the moment you know you're pregnant, you just start worrying. You're just a worrier already. You know, it's completely out of your control and you do the best you can to provide uh, an environment for your child in there. And it's just like, 
I hope that everything's going okay. <laughs> it was really, really awesome to hear such great things and that everything was going great. Now, this was a little bit of a scare for me. So between weeks 20 and 21, I did have not really fun experience. I randomly, like, kid you not, no reason why. I woke up, I was making coffee, and I just felt like, wow, like, I feel like I'm like leaking. Like, you know, what? Like, is it like a, you know, typical, you know, a lot of stuff, gross stuff happening in pregnancy. I look and I just see bright red blood. And of course, my heart just sinks because that's not what you typically want to see when you are pregnant. So of course, I tried to remain calm. It was a little bit alarming, to say the least. I called my doctor. It took forever for me to be able to like hear back of what I was supposed to do. I know if they wanted to see me or not. They did want to eventually see me, so I went in. I did an internal exam and all that good stuff. And so far, everything looked to be fine. And the next day, I had a sonogram just to confirm. And there was absolutely <laughs> no reason why I had bright red spotting. There was looked to be no cause. And um, they really couldn't give me an answer. <laughs> Which kind of sucks because you want to have an answer. I've learned in life that sometimes you just don't get answers. I just have to trust that... Uh, Baby girl is in God's hands and that um, if everything looks to be okay, then it is. Over the next few weeks, so from 20 weeks till now, I have been feeling her more and more. I am noticing that there are certain times that I feel her, but it's still kind of sporadic. I feel like she is sitting very low. Every time we've ever gone into sonograms or any time um, that they've ever like tried to feel and hear the heartbeat, they always are like low on my belly. I will sometimes, I kid you not, I will get up and I was like, huh, to like hunch over because I feel like she's literally just gonna fall out. Like that's how low she feels, the pressure. And so, Really weird kind of TMI, but that's what this is. Whenever I have to go to the bathroom, which is quite frequent, whenever I'm done, like kind of like going, I I swear she's like, yes, thank God, thank you mom for making more room for me because that was squishing up on my face and I wanted it out of my way. And so then she'll start kicking and moving around right after I go to the bathroom, like literally within seconds. Cause I feel like it's her way of saying, okay, yeah, thank you. I've been waiting for you to go to the bathroom. What took you so long? Cause I don't have room. <laughs> Definitely feeling a little bit of more aches and pains. The biggest thing that has happened is since 20 weeks when you can't uh, lay on your back anymore or they recommend not to because um, the weight of your uterus and the weight of your baby is heavier. And so it's going to press down, I guess, on a nerve or a vein, I don't really know, but something that will then slow down my heartbeat and then stop a lot of blood flow to her. So that's a little scary, so I don't wanna do that. Of course, sometimes I randomly will wake up on my back and I, you know, feel bad, but I think, honestly, I think you also instinctually will move if it's uncomfortable, I hope. <laughs> uh, but, what was I gonna say? Okay, so what was my thought here? You guys, pregnancy brain is a real thing. I'm not even playing. What was I talking about? <laughs> oh, okay, got it. Since ever since 20 weeks, you, because of that, you have to be on your back. I mean, on your sides when you sleep. And I guess because my hips are separating, I don't know, whatever, it's pregnancy related. I will wake up and my hips like are aching and in so much pain they will be so sore like i honestly want to cry in the middle of the night when i wake up which is like four or five times sometimes more a night because i'm always constantly flipping and turning pregnancy pillows are not comfortable anyone who says that they're comfortable i i'm not buying in okay i'm not buying in i am a back sleeper 
So for me to have to sleep on my side and have to like adjust the pillow and then every time I adjust it, I gotta wrap it underneath my, my leg and then I gotta put another pillow in between cause that's what's helping alleviate some of my pain, even more cushion between my legs. And then whenever I flip, I have to readjust it again. It's like, it's not comfortable to me. I just wanna sleep on my back and I can't wait until I can sleep on my back and drink wine. I go through days where I'm super hungry like I have a ravenous appetite and nothing is satisfying. And like, I am like, just like, and then other days I'm like, not that hungry. So it's just kind of like fluctuates. I've been using Benefiber every day because I was a, before I was pregnant, I go like two times a day. Um, that is not the case this time around. Um, so I'm really backed up and constipated. And so I've been incorporating Benefiber also since I think weeks. 17 or 18. Biggest appointment next right after Christmas is doing testing for gestational diabetes. So fingers crossed, I'm okay. And that is basically it. Um, I have absolutely done nothing <laughs> to get ready for this baby. Like I'm not joking. You think I'm being dramatic? I'm not. I literally have like done no research on products and baby things. I have not picked out anything. I have not created a nursery or a registry. <sighs> so I have um, <clears throat> not really been so proactive on that, but I am going to become this way very soon. I think just getting through the holidays and then my sister gets married in the first week of January. So there's just a lot going on. And I think after that, then I can finally focus on the baby shower and baby stuff um, because there's just a lot going on right now. And I can't balance all that. Only thing that we've done is we've painted the nursery, which Ryan did a wonderful job at my, my husband. He was a rock star and we got a crib. So and a mattress for the grip. That's it. <laughs> if you are a mom and you have any recommendations on anything that is like a must have, please comment below and let me know because I have no idea where to even start. I don't really know what I need and what I don't need. So um, all the advice is welcome and recommendations. I cannot believe that I'm a few weeks away from being in the third trimester. That's nuts, right? Like what? I feel like I feel so beyond blessed and I thank God every single day for such a smooth and beautiful pregnancy. I feel like I've been very blessed and very lucky that everything just seems to be going really well. And um, I truly, truly, um, I just pray every day that this baby girl is growing and doing what she needs to be doing and that I am doing what I need to be doing and that she's in God's hands. And so, um, She's still chucking along. Please let me know if you wanna see uh, any TTC or trying to conceive videos of recommendations of things that I, I did to conceive. Oh, I gotta show you my belly. So let me show you my bump. It's definitely grown since my last bump date. I just kind of fix all of this and then I will show you guys my bump. So I feel like I need to take off my vest. That'd probably be best. Is that good? I don't know. Okay, so it's I'm literally wearing a black shirt, which is pretty much making it impossible to see my bump. So here is the bump. I don't know how good of an ankle or whatever this is. Big old belly. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for subscribing and being just a part of this journey. Like this is just seriously crazy. Uh, I can't believe that this is actually happening. If you wanna see any future videos, click that subscribe button and like this video. So let me know that you liked it and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.